Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am here with the amazing, hilarious Thomas Halbert. I cannot believe you're finally here hanging out on my channel. It's the best ever. This is crazy. This it is like, really is. it's random. <laughs> So, so random. random. I am in like collab season right now. I'm stepping out of my shell and like being around people, which is strange for me because I usually just film here alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but I love that you wanted to stop by and film with me. And then also you guys, we do have a video that's gonna be over on Thomas's channel. All of his info will be in the description box below. It's gonna below. be positive too. That one will be really happy and positive. <laughs> This one, on the other hand, might go down a weird path. Do we want to do this? I, yeah, we all, yes, we yes. definitely do. It's going to be so funny. Okay. So basically what we're going to be doing today, I brought some products that I don't necessarily like very much, and Tati has some products that she doesn't like very much, and we're going to swap them and mm -hmm. do a full face of products that the other person hates yeah. on our on our faces. On our faces yeah. to see if maybe, like, am I being really dramatic, or do these products really... <sighs> actually suck. I actually like, I swear to God when I'm filming a video, I'm like, there's no way, I, like, I feel like I'm crazy. I swear, because mm -hmm. when I see product reviews and people are like loving something, yeah. and then I try it myself, I'm like, am I going crazy? Right? No, I feel the same way. So for you, I brought the <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. When I first tried this, I thought it was a foundation. I did too. And I got roasted and in my I, comments. I really went in with it and I was like, this is not working. Like, what is the deal? Do you feel and like you're yeah. going crazy? Yes, yeah. yeah, I did, totally. But even as a primer, it's just a little bit too greasy on my skin. It's it makes me very, look like an oil slip. Yeah, it, yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, have you tried this one? The Master Blur Stick. There are a lot of people that say they love this. I just feel like it's really oh, chalky. It's chalky. <gasps> okay, let's just start going in because okay. this is gonna be, I mean, we Why have a lot to go through. I don't know. Is this, this not a foundation? No. This isn't a foundation? No. This is exaggerating every single pore on my face. Whoa. I can't handle that. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. We'll just have to see what it looks like on top, but I don't see my pores at all. I don't like it a bit, but you guys know I am so, so picky with primer. I basically only use Guerlain and Tarte. That combo works for me, and whenever I try something else, I'm just like, ew, I hate it. With foundation primers, like the, the face products, they're all gonna perform differently dependent on what type of skin you have. So you always do have to keep that in mind. So I give you two options for foundation. Is that called sassy and chic? <laughs> Stop, no. Where is that from? He brought me dollar store makeup. That's like rude. Another option. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The Tarte Amazonian okay, Clay. Let me tell you, this one breaks me out. So it's just like, yes. just like, Mm, and it's no. supposed to be like full of natural ingredients. No, or something. natural minerals that are gonna clog every and pore on your face. Oil, oil Stop thing. it. No. Okay. I'm gonna go in with sassy. You think that's gonna be better? <laughs> chic. Because I don't wanna break out. Okay. Um oh, have, have you tried this one? Sweet. Yes? You know what? Ew. I haven't tried one Revlon product. This was a disaster. I tried this out on my channel. It was like $185. I'm not even joking. And they only had two shades, and it was like light which looked really, really fair, and I had a bit of a tan at the time, and this was the medium. And I was like, okay, cool, I ordered it offline. Stop it. Oh, see, that on my skin tone. I wanna try this one. I've never tried a Revlon product. See? That's like orange. Right? All right, sassy and chic, here we go. You are gonna We're, look fabulous, I'm gonna look darling. so amazing. Okay, we're just gonna go. This is gonna, it's gonna be even better when we switch our favorite products <gasps> because I am literally Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. So now that you know that we are doing these awful products, like trying them on, we're gonna be doing a full face get ready with us over on Thomas's channel of all of our like top favorites. It doesn't look that bad on camera. It's not great, but. It's not great. Well, <laughs> it's here's not the bad. thing I did like a full day wear test with that. It took a turn like halfway through the day. Yeah, I did a close up at the end of the day and it was just like breaking apart pretty bad. I have something really special for you as far as concealer goes. I have a powder concealer for you to try. It's powder to cream. I hate this Dior Skin Forever concealer. It is just not it. Like how do you even apply Makeup. this? You shake it and then you pat it. I need a beauty blender.
Whoa, what is this? Con Whoa. Am I oh no, oh no, you need to see what this foundation is doing though. You really need to see. It is like dots. And that is why I hate this foundation. Wow, I'm feeling super brightened and awake. This is really bad. <laughs> for you. Okay, do you have any like terrible stories of like using bad makeup and having to go to a meeting or an event? Or are you pretty good about only using like your personal faves on those days? I think I was trying the Huda Beauty Foundation and I had a Skype meeting. Skype's a little bit forgiving. forgiving it's a little forgiving, yeah. But the Huda Beauty Foundation was so cakey on me and it was like so fragranced. Yes. And I have very sensitive skin mm -hmm. and I, Cause it was right when I was done filming, I had to go into the Skype meeting and just like call them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the entire time like scratching at my face, Ooh, like yeah. scratching and scratching. They're like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm totally fine. No, like, can we just keep going? The next day I woke up with bumps all over my face. Oh, I don't know what is in it's it. That it's that fragrance. Like, I it's swear so it's that fragrance. intense. Even if you have like non-sensitive skin, it's not really not good, good for, for your you. skin. Yeah. So okay. I look tragic. I'm actually looking kind of better now, so. Do you like the Dior one? Hmm. I compare everything to like my top five and if they do not like match that, then I just am like, no. So moving on, on into powder, I usually like to bake my under eyes. So the product I have for her is the Hourglass Veil Powder. This doesn't set anything. I mean, it no. does for like two seconds and then you're oily again. So I have a real treat for you. There you oh, go. I've been eyeballing these for a while. Uh oh, okay. Well, give I was it, like, give it a shot this because this looks like Ben Nye. It's the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is super white. Mm hmm. Dude, why does this powder smell like vinegar? Like straight up vinegar. Ew. You know when you like go to the beach and you wear like sunglasses mm -hmm. and you come back and your whole face is red but your <laughs> eyes are white? Yes, that's actually pretty accurate. That's what I look like. What's your favorite makeup trick? Teach me your secrets. I like to over moisturize. Okay. Like I literally over moisturize for everything. I'm a person that does two, 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 two. My cleansers is three. So for my skincare, I do three skin, three cleansers, two toners, wait, two serums. Time, wait, excuse me? And then for moisturizers, I do four moisturizers. And I get so much crap for using like three different brow products here on my channel. Like I list everything in the description box and people will be like, oh my God, you're so high maintenance. You use three brow products, please stop. Or like I'll mix two different lipsticks together or whatever, right? Oh, sweetie, you do haven't you... met high maintenance yet. <laughs> oh, okay. sweetie. Okay, well, you're making me feel better about my life. Because so like, you. I feel like I have a super intense moisturizer. Then I have like a, a nourishing moisturizer. Then I have like a... I just like using a lot of moisturizer. <laughs> I just love moisturizer. But no, like I love, I love moisturizer. Oh my God! Oh my God, seven years of bad luck! Oh, please don't be broken. Okay, Thank we're good, we're good. I, otherwise I was gonna say Anna was back again. Jeez. That's her name? Okay, so the ghost has a name, you guys. I told her to leave, and it feels like she is gone, for the most part. But then whenever something weird happens, like I question it. But the energy has changed. It feels better. It feels really good in here. It does, right? It feels like yeah. light, bright, happy. This actually made the foundation more tolerable, I feel. It does. Right? It looks okay now. Like it's like not bad. It's like, it's not bad. It's not great. And you but it's not bad. are pale. We just, we just fast forwarded straight to winter. Okay, I need to look unsick. So let's, okay, let's get so there. Okay, so for unsickness, Brontour. Brontour from Morphe. This is probably like the dumbest thing that Morphe's, one of the dumbest things that Morphe's come out with. There's like a shimmer side that's supposed to be for bronzer and then like a matte side that's for it's contour. Very, it's very warm though. Okay, we're gonna go in and I have like a super bougie brush that should be able to make anything, including dirt, look good as bronzer. This is Tom Ford. Oh, so it. we're gonna like, we're gonna go in with that. Um, I have a very special palette for you. I there hate you this one go. too. I... So have fun blending. Oh wow, no. Regardless of the color, if it can't blend on top of like a very powdered face, that is not, especially with this brush, that is not good. Right? Oh my God. Do you know what would be the... <laughs> oh, do you do that all the time? I don't like con I don't like contouring my nose because really? I have I, I have what I like to call a sausage on my face. Oh. Because when I turn this way, 
it's crooked, but when I turn this way, it's straight. So if I try to contour that, it would look weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just do the tip and then call it a day. Do you know what my number one um, hate comment was when I first started my channel? And I like, I don't know why I used to do this. I used to like save my hate comments in case like it got super abusive and I like needed to take action <laughs> or something. So I have in my Gmail, this is like way, way, way back when, when I would only get like a couple thousand views on a video, right? So they like stood out in a big way. When you only have like 35 comments, you're reading and replying to every single one. There was one person in every video would leave a comment <laughs> that said, you have a dick nose. And again, honestly, it gave me a complex for the longest time. And I remember at one point, like I sat down in the living room and James is like, what's wrong? And I'm like, everybody's saying I have a dick nose. <laughs> Can, wait, can I see your nose? No, please don't judge me. How is that a dick? I'm making it work. You really went in to make it work. I did too, low key. Cause it's not that bad on my skin. It's not terrible. Like It took a long thing. time though. Good makeup feels more effortless. And when things take so much time to blend in, I mean, who has that? So when you're making your purchasing decisions, you want something that's gonna blend easily, do the job, wear well. And like, yeah. I think that's why we get so critical about these products not working is because I know that you guys at home are probably not going out buying 12 different bronzers. You only need one, you know what I'm saying? Well, so I like, think the point of, my point of being an influencer, influence. influ I know, I really like, I put myself in a corner saying that I hated the word influencer, but go ahead, like I still use that word. It's just, it describes the community, I get it. As a beauty guru. My goal, and when I went into, you know what, let me tell a story. The reason why I used to vibe so well with Tati back in the day, still do, not just, still do. And I got so obsessed with your videos, not only because we had the same kind of eye shape, but because you always gave an honest review. If another person said they liked a product and you said you didn't like it, I would go by what you said before I went to the other person. So when I started my channel, or when I started posting more heavily and I started posting reviews, I always told myself, I'm gonna do what Tati does and yes. stay honest because- And people love that. They need that, Because you, know? you care more about the consumer than you do the people that are yes. making billions of dollars a year. People don't get sent PR. <laughs> That's just not an everyday no, thing. No. And they're spending their hard on coin on stuff. And when the people are being told that they love something or it's great when it's actually not a good product, and you know, I just don't like that yeah, deceiving yeah, crap. Yeah. So I think- totally. Being honest has always been, thank you, I appreciate that. I've always gone really hard on products and I think that's the thing that's really tricky because we're in this arena now where I think some people really go hard just for like the comedy of it or the fun of it. And like, yeah, what we're trying today is kind of funny and like, oh, these crappy products. Yeah. But these are all really crappy products in my opinion. Like, I don't like these, I would not recommend them. And I think in this day and age where it's like, brands have realized they've caught on to hype and stuff like that. They keep pushing, 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 and oh, pushing, yes. and pushing product. Because back in 2015, 2014, 2013, these brands, the, the launches were very far and few in between. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, they released a palette and now all of a sudden two weeks later they're releasing another palette and it's like, well, yes. now and they can't like, even, how? and they can't even focus on quality because they're yeah. focusing more on quantity. And yeah. that's why there's more bad reviews now yes. than there are good reviews because people aren't trying anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's the tea. That's the tea they won't want to tell you. Yeah. Really? So for blush, I really, I'm so sorry that I've Oh, we're doing cream on top of powder, Thomas. I just want to tell you to leave my studio right now. That's okay. I'm going to get you with this beautiful chrome taupe blush. Ew, why does it look that? I don't know. I think that's mislabeled. Come on now. Because if this was on a darker complexion, this would look it ashy. Would, it would look horrible. And that's why when I was swatching this, I was just like, mm, go for it. Let's see what it looks well, like. Well, for blush for you, it's the MAC Studio and mm -hmm. it's very balmy. Ooh, um, it's super, waxy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's make those pores look even worse. It's oh. so great. It looks great over top of powder. It's going to be very easy to blend out as well. Oh, I'm thrilled. So one of my like funniest moments doing my whole like negative review thing was when in the timing I had no no idea. Oh shit. Oh Thomas. 
I'm gonna look like the freaking Tin Man. Oh my god, it's Halloween early, guys. I'm so sorry. I need a brush. Are you sure you don't wanna do a little tap, tap, tap? I don't know that, really? This is not gonna be a tap, tap, tap situation. Stop it, it's like lifting all the product. So, way back when, when I was just flying solo, and I still am, but there was a network that had a huge deal with Maybelline, and it was surrounding the first like palette palette that they ever brought out. It was about this size, and I did a hot or not on it, and it was just like the timing of it was crazy because my review, literally, I was doing like live swatches and like going like this, and I'm like, nothing, there's nothing. There's no pigment. I don't understand what's happening here. At the same exact time, there were like 12 different beauty gurus doing like pre-roll ads, heavy sponsorship, and they're like, this is amazing, it's blending so good, you know? And then there's little me being like, this sucks, you know? And that actually was like a big moment on my channel because people came and they're like, you know what, I bought this and I agree with Tati. Like, this is a horrible palette and like, I have trust for her, so. Yeah. Don't ever underestimate, if you make videos, like don't ever underestimate the power of 100% keeping it real and passing on, on the payday. Cause you earn trust, it's better for you in the long run, right? Well, there yeah, is I a product that. that I had the same situation with. Oh shit. <laughs> We're not there yet. We still have highlights to go. <laughs> Let's trade, cheers. I have the master chrome. You have to have use I the use cream this? too. You have to follow the instructions. This one is like the bad apple of the bunch. It's just like chunky glitter. Okay, so prep. Apply Fiji as a base to amplify light reflecting. Ew. Oh my God, it's like removing all of my makeup, actually. And that's supposed to be step one. Oh my God. I was not expecting that, actually. Come on, Tin Man. Okay, sculpt. Apply under cheek. No, really? Stop. Like, how are you Why supposed to sculpt you? with that? How are you gonna sculpt? Like, stop it. Really? No. Did you? Did we ever have eyebrows? No. For eyeshadow. Thomas, go ahead. Tati is going to have to use the ever so great Jack and Hill Vault Collection. I am going to have her use Armand and Gorgeous. I reviewed her original one and I love it so much. That's a good one. It was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful, so good palette. You know, I had, I think, the third most watched uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe review. And I was I was disappointed that I didn't get sent PR because she did state that she sent out 800 PR packages and I was not on that list. And I know people are gonna drag me for that because back, way back when, when I would like talk about not being on other people's PR lists. Wait, should I share this or not? People always are like, oh, you complain so much that you don't get free makeup. And it's like, that's not what it's about. It's about like having the preview and having the access to like, review it you know yeah because we're like we live in a time where first video out is the the video that people take mm -hmm. as the truth and as so on and so forth you see it with shade ranges like yeah. when there's a hyped up bad shade range the first person that gets the first video out gets the most views we're editors now essentially yeah. like you have to look at it that way our channel in many ways is the same way you would pick up a copy of a beauty magazine and we are in charge of testing trying deciding what feels good what doesn't for our subscribers giving good information so that access means everything i still purchase a lot on my own but when i have to wait you know three four weeks to get my hands on a product to review that wave has already passed us by. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. I can tell you right now, it's because you are one of the few big ones that are still honest about their reviews and they send products to people that they probably, they know are going to give them good reviews. People are clout chasing now and if they say a good thing about the Jaclyn Hill palette, they'll get a Jaclyn Hill repost. If they mm -hmm. say a good thing about the Tarte Cosmetics palette, they'll get a Tarte Cosmetics repost. If they say something good about the Subculture palette, they'll get an Anastasia repost and that's the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I choose not to, we choose not mm -hmm. to be a part of that environment and mm -hmm. if we like a product, we like it. If we don't, we don't. Yeah. And Unfortunately, brands tend to not like that. It's it's an interesting, fascinating thing. But anyway, let's go right in. Let's do it. I'm going into the Givenchy shimmering nudes. It's all just shimmers. Do you want to like spill more tea on this whole situation? Because I think people are really kind of fascinated by it. And I actually want to stick up for Jacqueline for a moment. 
And I just wanna say, and no one has come out and said this, I just can't help but feel. And I'm sitting in like the seat of, you know, this is coming from me now being on the flip side and owning my own brand, that if I had something mess up to the level that this messed up, I don't think Jacqueline should have done the apology video alone. I think Linda should have been by her side. In her defense, I feel like she deserved more backup and the miscommunication and information that people yeah. really wanted should have been from someone high up at Morphe so that oh, people yeah. aren't throwing fire at her publicly on Twitter because she's getting an awful lot of hate and I feel like Which that could so have annoying. been diffused if she wasn't the person delivering the message because really it's not her company, you know? So I just yeah. feel like if she had better support, it would be a different situation. Um, but, but then, I, but at I the end of the day, with, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, she tried those products. Oh my God, Thomas, she, Jesus. She tried this those This one products. is not bad. Look at what I'm blending. This is not bad. No, that shade okay? isn't bad. This shade is not bad. Agent is good. Yeah. I do want to kind of take the green kind of on the outer edge, maybe. Like, I'm and not then, mad at this yeah. either. Really? I'm not mad at it. I just feel like this, for the amount of money I spent on it, that was literally like 60 bucks. Stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to make this look bad. Do you know what I'm saying? That is pretty choppy, though. Not ideal. That's the... I just want to clarify, too. That's the second release. Oh, this is the improved one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This is not the same as the original, like the big Jaclyn Hill palette. So I can get that. I mean, that one is just really, really nice. But do you see? Like I've blended pretty well, but it's still, it's like right, right in, in there here. is the problem. Tazi, this is pretty. <laughs> no, so, no. So pretty. It is not. I used that in like one of the worst, trying on the worst low rated products because it's super low rated too. It's low rated? Oh, yeah. This is pretty. Oh, which nice. one is going to yes, coin? Yes, yes, coin coin's is, really coin nice. Coin is nice. I like that. The shimmer saves it. I love it. I love this color. The um, shimmer the saves it. The green I would not use again. Okay, so magnetic lashes. Have fun. You'll be doing that for the rest of the video. I feel like I really gave it a solid try with these shadows. I really did not go in trying to be a jerk. 50% of the palette's great. 50% is not blending. Hey, this lash keeps getting stuck to the tweezers oh god oh god oh, oh god. how about oh no oh, no <gasps> i hate my makeup hey i have something for you this is like 200 dollar um lip palette do you need a lip brush yeah cuz my nails i have a do you find that you're slowed down a bit by those nails. My, oh, my nail grows? No, like, the, like how do you, how, how? Oh, I don't know. Really? I really don't, I just try my best. That's a Dior lip brush. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> I mean, the, the shades are pretty. They all look yeah, the same. Yeah, but would you spend that much money? No, thank you, you would not. I'm it is like you could point. literally yeah. just buy it at the drugstore. I'm gonna just do like a little swatch session while you do this, because I just kind of want to <sighs> see. I should have brought the whole vault. That's good. This one's nice. Wow. It's, so it's just like a 50-50 thing, right? Okay. That's pretty bad. Coin is really nice. Yep. See, that one's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, is my God. Is this supposed to be sheer? No. Um, on a scale from one to 10, how do you rate my look? Like a solid, two. Like a solid four, maybe? Mm, two. Fine, you get a two also. Yeah, duh. You get a two look also. at this. We feel beautiful and awesome, so much so that we're gonna wash our face and redo makeup, and that will be over on Thomas's dunk channel. My face in water. Yes, let's go do, um, what was it? Three cleansers, three toners, three moisturizers, five face 24 masks, steps. something like that. Check the description box below. Go subscribe to Thomas. He's the cutest. I've been following him forever. He's like my problematic child. On, yeah, yeah, I'm the child that always. But you're uh, the interesting one, though. Uh, yeah, that's what my mom says. Okay. Sorry, Justin. No. There, oh my God. But yeah, you guys, Thomas has like the wittiest sense of humor. You should follow him on Twitter too because that's actually the really wild ride in my opinion is your Twitter account. 
I kind of love it. So you, you're very I'm open with how you feel. And I actually like that because then you get the truth from a person. So it's 2000, 2018. We're allowed to feel things. Yeah. If you don't sure. like it, you can kick rocks. Oh, okay. A, a nice way to put it. All right, cool. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with us. Go watch the other video and let us know um, in this one who wore it better. Like who had the better bad makeup? Leave that below. All right, we love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yes. Mwah. Mm -hmm.